Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to make performance kits using Vengeance Dubstep. So you can take any sample pack you want, but I'm going to be using Vengeance. And what I like to do is I like to keep my bottom four pads as my drum kits. So kick, snare, open hi or close hi-hat and open hi-hat. So I'm going to select my first pad and then let's pick a kick. And again, you can do this from any sample pack, but I'm just going to use Vengeance for now. So that seems okay. Let me turn down the volume a bit. And on your machine, just press pad mode and then fixed velocity and everything will play at maximum velocity. All right, sweet. So let's go back in the folders and let's pick a clap. And I'm just going to hit sound on my machine and turn down the volume a bit. And you can even do that on your software. If you come here next to your sound, there's two knobs. The left one is the volume and then the right one is the pan position. All right, so now let's pick a closed hi-hat. So cymbals and closed hi-hat. And let's see. So that sounds good. And I'm just going to select the sound and turn the volume down a bit for my hi-hat. And let's pick a open hi-hat. So... I don't want to spend too much time on this. All right, sweet. So now that you have your drum sample selected, uh, what I like to do is I like to keep these top four pads as my bases. So let's go back in our folders and I'm gonna go into synth one shots or you could even go into melody loops, but I'm gonna go to synth one shots and I'm just gonna pick something random. So let's see. So over here, there's so many C's. They're all C notes. So I'm just going to stick with C for this. So check it out. So something like this. Sounds like a really nice electro saw bass. And I'm going to drag that on my 13th pad. And let me just turn down the volume a bit. All right. And then what you can do is you can go into your voice settings over here, change the polyphony to one or legato. And let's also go into your pitch envelope, change it from one shot to ADSR. And let's bring down this release knob a bit. And that way, every time you let go of your pad, it'll stop playing. Okay, so now that you have one bass note selected, to keep things simple, let's just duplicate it once. And actually, before we duplicate that, let's add an effect. So let's select the pad, and on your machine, just hit right till you see an empty slot. And even on your software, you can click on this plus sign, and then go to internal, and let's grab a reverb. And here's what it sounds like. Now let's change this from a room to a plate. All right, so obviously that's a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down this decay to 1%. And then let's also bring the mix down to about 20%. So just a little bit of reverb. All right, so now let's hit duplicate on your machine and select this pad and select the next empty pad and now so it's the same sound, and in the new duplicated pad, let's navigate to sampler. So on the machine, if you navigate to sampler on the right screen, you can see it on your software over here as well. And then on the left screen, let's change the tuning. So make sure you're in your pitch gate tab. So navigate to pitch gate, and then change it to minus two. So 
So a good exercise for performance kits would be to stick with two root notes. So right now I'm just I just have C and A sharp. So I like to stick with that so that it's it's easier to practice when you're beginning. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this first one into the third and let's change the tuning. So navigate to sampler and let's tune it to plus 12. So an octave higher. And then we'll duplicate this middle one and we'll change this to an octave higher from there. So 10 because minus two plus 12 is 10. All right, pretty cool stuff. And if you're also wondering how to play like this, just stay tuned to our channel. We're gonna be discussing finger practices and performance and just a bunch of training in the coming videos. So definitely stay tuned for that. And now what we can do is we can pick a different sample for our next four pads. So let's see. That might work. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna drag this sample on my ninth pad. And then let's go to the voice settings and change the polyphony to legato or one. And then let's change the pitch envelope the type from one shot to ADSR, and then bring down the release a bit. All right, so in the software, let's select the bass, and then go to the reverb, right click, copy, and then let's select that new pad, and hit the plus sign, and paste. And then let's bring the reverb mix down to 10%. So they're both C. So let's duplicate this into a new pad and then tune it down just like we did with our previous samples. So let's go to the pitch envelope and tune it down by two. And then we'll duplicate the first one to the third pad, go to the pitch envelope, tune it up an octave, and then duplicate this middle one to the last, and then tune that up an octave. So from minus two to 10. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more videos. And we will see you next time. Peace.